Although the written history of California is not long, records of earthquakes exist that affected the Spanish missions that were constructed beginning in the late 18th century. Those records ceased when the missions were secularized in 1834, and from that point until the California Gold Rush in the 1840s, records were sparse. Other sources for the occurrence of earthquakes usually came from ship captains and other explorers. The earliest known earthquake was documented in 1769 by the Spanish explorers and Catholic missionaries of the Portola expedition as they traveled northward from San Diego along the Santa Ana River near the present site of Los Angeles. For the period 1850-2004, there was about one potentially damaging event per year on average, though many of these did not cause serious consequences or loss of life. The few damaging earthquakes that occurred in the American Midwest and the East Coast were well known 1755 Cape Ann, 1811 to 12 New Madrid, 1886 Charleston, and it became apparent to settlers that the earthquake hazard situation was much different in the West, while the 1812 San Juan Capistrano, 1857 Fort Tejon, and 1872 Lone Pine shocks were only moderately destructive in mostly unpopulated areas. The 1868 Hayward event affected the thriving financial hub that is the San Francisco Bay Area, with damage from Santa Rosa in the north to Santa Cruz in the south. By this time, scientists were well aware of the threat, but seismology was still in its infancy. Reactions following destructive events in the late 19th and early 20th centuries included real estate developers, press, and boosters minimizing and downplaying the risk out of fear that the ongoing economic boom would be negatively affected. According to seismologist Charles Richter, the 1906 San Francisco earthquake moved the United States government into acknowledging the problem. Prior to that, no agency was specifically focused on researching earthquake activity. The United States Weather Bureau did record when they happened and several United States geological survey scientists had briefly disengaged from their regular duties of mapping mineral resources to write reports on the New Madrid and Charleston events. But no trained geologists were working on the problem until the Coast and Geodetic Survey was made responsible after 1906. The outlook improved when Professor Andrew Lawson brought the state's first monitoring program online at the University of California, Berkeley in 1910 with seismologist Harry Wood who was later instrumental in getting the Caltech Seismological Laboratory operational in the 1920s. Early developments at the Caltech lab in Pasadena included an earthquake observation network using their own custom-built short-period seismometers, the Richter magnitude scale, and an updated version of the Mercalli intensity scale. In 1933, the Long Beach earthquake occurred in a populated area and damaged or destroyed a large number of public school buildings in Long Beach and Los Angeles. Some decades later, the San Fernando earthquake affected the San Fernando Valley north of Los Angeles with heavy damage to several hospitals. In both cases, the perception of those involved with policy making in California was changed and state laws and building codes were modified but not without much debate to require commercial and residential properties to be built to withstand earthquakes. Higher standards were established for fire stations, hospitals, and schools and construction of dwellings was also restricted near active faults. Subscribe our channel for more such informative short video.